need to design a program for myself as an interdisciplinary engineer that 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 should have elements of both water resources and 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 and, and civil engineering and that's why I opted for interdisciplinary engineering at Northeastern University where I've been working in the area of water resources and critical infrastructures resilience. Today I stand here to defend my thesis and a lot of my work has been published in various venues, both international journals, conferences and a textbook which I co-authored with Professor Gamuli and Professor Flynn. Um, so in this talk, I will be giving brief background that why this research problem is important to us, what are the research questions that I have attempted to answer, what is my key research thrust and two sub-thrusts within, within that thrust that I have, I have used to answer a bigger, big, a bigger question. Finally, I will discuss specifics about my research using two case studies and then I will briefly talk about the future work that I plan to do in near term and, and, and intermediate term. So, talking about societal priorities, World Economic Forum in their risk report recognizes hazards linked to weather such as extreme weather events, water crisis, failure of climate change mitigation and adaptation as evolving and unprecedented threats. So in wake of these unprecedented threats, there have been call both from scientific community that is, and, and this was an article written by the then editor-in-chief of science that communities need to think beyond sea walls and policy makers, for example, UN Secretary General called for that we need to think beyond risk, risk frameworks and go towards more comprehensive resilience frameworks and we have to change the resilience paradigm that accounts for how infrastructures not, should recover, adapt to and prepare for hazards that, that, that are unprecedented but have high probability of occurrence in changing world. Coming to specifics of my research, I have tried to build a thread between stressors with specific focus on natural hazards and, uh, and, and climate related stressors, how they interact with stress system with focus on transportation networks and urban systems and once we understand that how stresses interact with stress system, how we can model the consequences and, and come up with the strategies that result in the efficient restoration of these systems after perturbation. During my research, I realized that some of the lessons that we learned for these network infrastructures also generalize to other network systems, for example, ecosystems, which have network or interconnectivity interdependencies at their heart. So I have been working on some of the methods that go beyond build infrastructures into natural infrastructures to accomplish these, uh, these research goals that come from from different aspects of science and engineering, I have been using tools ranging all the way from network science, nonlinear dynamics, time series and spatial statistics, and data sciences. Coming to the specific questions, the three specific questions that I have tried to answer in the context of stressors, stress system, and impacted systems are, for stressors, how we can improve assessment of climate and weather related extremes while being mindful of uncertainty. Secondly, if we have improved assessment of stressors, so what? How we can use that information to inform design relevant and adaptation relevant metrics for infrastructure design and that's what we call as stress system because stressors induce st stresses in them, they crumble, they lose their functionality and that's where our, our, our job as engineers are that once perturbation starts.